friends once again welcome to the automation revolution in this video i will show you how to configure dcs system so here we have uh, siemens dcs system uh, semantic pcs7 means process control system and uh, this model name is uh, asrtx so you can see uh, this will be our uh, automation station and uh, here we have connected automation station with distributed io system so this is our distributed io system uh, Cimatic ET 200 amp and uh, different input and output we have connected and uh, this is power supply so first I will tell you about this uh, hardware so in this automation station uh, this green color cable will be our plant bus and that we have connected with our uh, engineering station and uh, this purple color cable is profi bus so this Profibus DP cable we have connected uh, with this uh, ET200 uh, module means distributed IO system you can see here we can set uh, address so right now we have uh, 4 plus 2 means 6 address uh, we have given in this uh, ET200 module and these are the different input and output uh, which are connected with field devices so now we will see how to configure hardware from the semantic manager so now in this semantic manager uh, we will do configuration for the engineering station and automation station so first of all uh, we will open multi project from this file menu so here we have option multi project and i will give name and i will give the particular location to save the project so in this d drive i have made one folder named auto rev after opening this uh, multi project in multi project we will create a uh, single project so for that we will right click on that go for multi project and create in multi project and here i will add the name for this multi project i will browse the same path d drive and auto -drive. So successfully we have created this project and in this project we will uh, define library so first of all i will right click on multi project and from there create in multi project and here we will define the library so library actually uh, giving us uh, by default programming block so while uh, we are going for logical operation so that time we can use uh, function uh, function block and uh, SFC or CFC from this library you can also uh, create new library and Siemens is also giving a uh, by default library so you can see the CFC library and PCS 7 ap libraries from Siemens and you can create your own library so right now uh, we will create new library so I will give here name tutorial library and I will assign the same path so this will be our uh, new library and this library we will define as a master data library so right click on that and go for multi project define as a master data library so we can uh, use this library in entire multi project after uh, creating project and library uh, we will add here engine station and automation station so first of all i will click on project right click on that go for semantic pc station so here i will rename this pc station as es or os so here uh, this semantic pc station will be our engineering station as well as operating station because from the engine station uh, we are operating and controlling the system but in field area there will be there will be uh, multiple operating station but here uh, right now uh, in this case we will consider both es and osm once again we will add semantic pc station for adding automation station so i will rename as a as so in uh, auto uh, this auto rev project we have created uh, two uh, system 
ऑटोमेशन स्टेशन एंड इंजीन स्टेशन और ऑपरेटिंग स्टेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डू हार्डवेयर कन्फिगेशन फॉर दिस ऑटोमेशन स्टेशन सो फॉर दैट आई विल ओपन दिस कन्फिगेशन विंडो एंड इन दिस कन्फिगेशन विंडो Uh, we will add I general because uh, from the engineering station to automation station uh, we are making communication via industrial Ethernet or Profinet. So first of all, we will add industrial Ethernet. So we are getting this I uh, general from this option, and here we will select version 7.1. So this detail you can know from uh, the nameplate of this automation station or uh, the monitor which is connected. With uh, automation station. Here, the system is asking about IP address. So here we have to add the IP address for the automation station, so that we can know from uh, this command prompt window. So from the command command prompt window, we are getting uh, IP address. So this will be our system IP address 200.1 and uh, 200.2. Uh, this will be our automation station IP address. So we will keep this 200.2 IP address here as an automation IP address. So I will give here address 200.2 and uh, I will create new subnet as a plant bus. So this plant bus will be our communication uh, bus between engineering station and automation station. So we have successfully added this I general. After that, I general uh, will add CPU. So we'll go for this controller option, and uh, from the controller, we have WinLC RTX box. Actually, in Siemens, uh, we have different uh, DCS or automation station. So this right now RTX box is working as automation station, but in uh, field area, S7400 system also used uh, sometimes as a DCS. Here we have uh, this 4.6 version uh, RTX box, so I will drag and drop into this rack and after adding this RTX box, we will add communication processor uh, to make communication between this automation station and uh, distributed IO. So this will be communication processor card for Profibus DB. Now I am adding this communication processor with this RTX box and this system is asking about this profi bus addressing. So I will keep two as it is and I will create new subnet as a field bus. So field bus will be, will be the communication between automation station to distributed IO system and we will add this. Profibus DP. So you can see here this Profibus DP uh, link uh, will be added in this uh, station. And now uh, we will add ET 200 m module or distributed I/O module uh, with this field bus. For that we will go for Profibus DP, and from there we are getting option ET 200 m. And here we are getting so many uh, distributed IO communication processor. But from there we will select the exactly which we have right now. So here downside we are getting the uh, order number or MLFB number. So we will select. So right now we have 2BA02, 0XB0. So this will be the exactly uh, module we have. And I will add in this field bus. So you can drag and drop like this and here we will add Profibus addressing. So this Profibus addressing you can keep uh, from the deep switch setting. So right now we have keep this address 3 and uh, this subnet, subnet will be same field bus. Press OK. Now we have added this distributed IO module and uh, in this interface module, we will add different uh, digital and analog input output modules. So for the reference, I have uh, captured one photo. So this will be a uh, di different distributed I.O. module. 
so first of all we have digital input and then uh, digital output analog input and output so in the sequence as per our uh, systems we will add this io and here you can get this order number so from order number you can find and this will be in uh, input and output addressing for particular module so first of all uh, i will add this digital input 32 bit and this serial number is 1bl000 so i will search from this order number so we, we are getting very easily i will expand uh, this module and from there i will open digital input and for our first input is 1bl00 i will search from this find window 1bl00 so you can see uh, this system will track and will drag and drop in this rack our second io is 32 bit the same serial number so we can copy and paste in this rack so like that uh, we will add all io our third will be 7bh01 So I will add and this are and these are same four modules in our system. Next will be Namur and the serial number is 7th00. Track 7th00 then next will be 1bl00 this will be digital output so for that we will open do and here we will search so once again we have 1bl00 32 bit sorry uh, this will be uh, digital input but we need digital output so once again we will search you can see here we are getting digital output so please take care while you are uh, adding this module so as per the uh, sequence we need this uh, digital input and output in 12th number we have 8BH10 so this will be 16 bit digital output and uh, this both 12 number and 13 number uh, I or same so we can copy and paste 14th number we have analog input the serial number is 7 HF01 so I will close this one and I will open analog input 7 HF01 so this will be analog input EI 8 14 bit and now we will open analog output and the serial number is 5 HF 00 so we have added this all distributed IO system here I will click on save and compile so this hardware uh, will be saved in our engineering station and then we will download uh, this hardware configuration into OS uh, automation station so this is the option click OK so it will track the network first and uh, it will match whether IP address is matching with the system or not and now press ok so you can see now uh, this system is giving us warning because online name is uh, 427c asrtx and uh, right now we have keep this name as so you can uh, change the name and we will download this hardware into 
system so we have successfully downloaded uh, the hardware into automation station and in next video we will see how to configure es engine station dc system so thank you very much for watching the video